Well, seeing as it has been quite a few weeks since I bottled this, I bottled this about the second week, second or third week of, uh, of January. Carbonated perfectly in about two weeks. And uh, this is the uh, IPA that I brewed with Citra, Simcoe, and Galaxy Hops. Use Warrior for bittering. And it turned out pretty good. I've gotten, uh, I, I took it to one of my friends at, at, who works at or a bottle shop, and he was pretty uh, amazed by it. It's really, it's really drinkable. I'm glad I left it in the fermenter for, or the primary fermenter for uh, over a week, almost two weeks, and it really cleaned it up really nicely. So uh, I got it in a, uh, a Weyerbacher Imperial Pumpkin Ale bottle that I've reused. Uh, all the bottles I've had so far haven't been affected, so it was pretty good. The, Venator, the uh, bottle Venator uh, works pretty damn well. So. Um, I got an anonic pint glass. This is actually a pretty good pint glass. I like using it. Let's uh, see how this is. I've been warming it up for a while. And we got a little carbonation coming up. Got a little bit of chill haze, you know, but you know, I kind of expected it, and it probably won't go away until after a couple weeks in the fridge. Pours, uh, I don't know if you can see it with the light in the background, but uh, pours some um, hazy golden orange, three fingers ahead, carbonation sticking to the side of this glass because I didn't clean it well enough. Oh well. Um, let's see. Let's see what the aromas are like because this head isn't going to go anywhere. Surprisingly, I didn't use any care pills or anything like that, and it, um, it's got great head retention with just caramel malt. Mmm, whoa, yes, yes, yes. I'm trying to smell through the head, but it's, uh, it's got a lot of uh, mango for sure, and, uh, what else? Floral, uh, big grapefruits. Uh, some orange, you know, not not too much pine. Mostly just uh, grapefruit, uh, mango, and orange, and herbal floral notes. Um, it's a great smell. Let's see how it tastes now. You get a good amount of spice herbal bitterness in the front and it reaches mid palate and blows up with mango and orange and uh, tropical fruits you know you'd expect from Simcoe and all that but um, let's see yeah just a lot a lot of tropical fruit and mango and orange and pineapple stuff like that. It's got a crisp, it's pretty crisp now, I mean, it's probably been gaining a little bit of carbonation. I had, uh, I used three quarters of a um, cup of corn sugar to this, but it wasn't exactly five gallons, so it probably has a little bit more than it needs, but overall the, uh, the, or the carbonation level is good and crisp, and a good amount of bitterness, but not too much, not like if I would have made it 80 IBUs, it would probably be blowing my face off or something. But uh, it's about exactly 6.8% according to calculations because I had 1068 and it went down to about 1016. So it's a really, a really, really good beer. It's probably the best one I've made yet. And I've only, this is what, my sixth, fifth or sixth batch or something. So I'm pretty impressed with this. Uh, I can't wait for my next batch. It's probably going to be a triple, as I've said before. Or it could be uh, some other Belgian style, possibly, or a stout, just a, a normal stout. I'm, uh, I'm gonna try to get, start my all grain soon. I got still got some equipment to buy, but I uh, 
I'm gonna go simple, you know, simple for some low gravity beers because I don't want to just jump right into like 12% barley wines immediately or anything like that. But it'll be a good experience, and I'm sure I'll be able to uh, make great batches. So. These are, the aromas are absolutely beautiful, and the taste, it's real, it's just, uh, uh, wow. I haven't had a, a real mango IPA in a while, but this is great stuff. I'm, uh, I'm going to take it to uh, a beer tasting that I'm going to go to in a couple weeks, and then I have a homebrew club meeting, and I'm going to bring it there too and see how, what everyone thinks, but overall to me, this is a really great uh, um effort by myself and uh, hoping to make more beers that are as good as this in different styles so uh, happy uh, homebrew wins everyone. Cheers!